Hey everyone, how's it going today? I'm going to try to install Aether Legacy for Minecraft version 1.12.2. Okay, so before you install anything, you need Java for Minecraft mods. So I would say most mods require Java and especially Forge. So if your mod requires Forge, then you need Java for Forge. So it's a free download, it's 100% safe. It's like a legit program. I'm not sure like the publishers, but it's legit, like it's 100% safe. So I'll leave a link down below for that. And if you need help installing it, it's actually, it's honestly really simple. But if you need help, there's tons of tutorials on YouTube on how to install it. Okay, so once you have Java installed, you're good. So the next link will take you to minecraftforge.net. So it might just say 1.12 right here. Just click this and go to 1.12.2 and it will say it right here. That's how you know you're on the page. And there's download recommended or download latest. So I usually download recommended, but when I was messing around with the Aethermod, I found that it crashed more when I used the recommended forge. So the latest one, this one I was using, it worked fine. I didn't crash at all. It crashed probably like three times using this one. And I think it was the I think it was because of this. So I tried this version. And it didn't crash at all, so it's up to you what you want to install, but I would recommend, well, I guess I would recommend the latest version, so uh, 2582, so it's right here and right here. But yeah, really, it's up to you, but I suggest this one. So what you want to do is click Installer. It will take you to this page. There's going to be ads. Just do not click the ads. Just wait six seconds. And in the corner, it will say Skip. Just click Skip. So it will be down here, and this is just one I was messing around with before. It's just the older version. So uh, you want to click keep. It's an unknown publisher, so it will save on Harvard computer, but it's 100% safe. It's just unknown. Click keep. And let that download. The next link will take you to Minecraft Curse Forge. So you're going to look for Aether Legacy version 1.0.1. And it should still be called that. Or if that if it's not called that anymore, just look for 1.12.2. Or even up, even up here you can search for it. So all versions, or you can select 1.12.2. And you want this version right here. So just click this button right here. So download file. So we'll say the same thing as Ford, but it's an unknown publisher. Click keep and just let that download. Okay, now I'll meet you at the desktop. Okay, so you want to go where it downloaded. So in my downloads folder, it's right here. Take both of them, put them on desktop so it's easier to deal with. Let's exit this. Now before you install anything, open Minecraft. So in here, you want to launch options and add new and type 1.12.2. You can name it anything you want, but that just helps you remember it. So click here on under version, this little drop down and go to release 1.12.2. Click save, and then go to news, and find it in here, so 1.12.2. Now click play. So right there in the corner, 1.12.2, and you have to do this so Forge can recognize the version you're running, so if you're running Forge 1.12.2, you have to at least run the vanilla version first. Now quick game. Now take Forge, right click, open with Java TM Platform SE Binary, and this little thing will come up. You want to install client. So it's already checked, but I guess you click it again. But uh, install client. And this thing, I believe this is like handles crash reports. You don't have to have it on. You can turn, turn it off if you want. But like if your game crashed, I think they send like the files and stuff. So it helps. Yeah, it says uh, it collects the statistics and stuff like that. So you don't have to have that on. It doesn't matter. Just click OK. And it will download all these libraries. And there we go. It's done. It's successful. Click OK. Now open Minecraft. So instead of clicking play just yet, go to launch options and find the version you were messing with before. So 1.2.2. And in here, you want to click and go all the way down until you find release 1.2.2 forge. So the forge you just downloaded, it'll be right here. And click save. You can even rename it to forge if you want, but uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. Click save. Go to news and click play it might be it should be selected but it's not just find it but you just want to click play and you'll see this loading screen it's just forge doing what forge does so it may take a bit you know it takes long just leave it a bit because forge does take a while sometimes uh, there we go so five mods loaded go to mods and in here there's forge and everything that's with forge and you're good with that click done and quit game so now you can just delete this put a recycle bin or just keep it for whatever reason you don't need it anymore now for the mods, this is like the easiest part. Press Windows key and R on your keyboard, and it'll bring up this application called Run. And you want to type in percent a p p d a t a percent percent app data percent. Click OK. It will take you to roaming. I'm gonna go to dot Minecraft and find the mods folder. If there's not a mods folder, it's, it'll be just like this. If it's not in there, because some people don't have it, right click, go to new folder, and name it mods. So M-O-D-S, just like that. So no capitals, just, just like that. 
but that's if you don't have one. If you have one, you're good, but if you don't, do that. So you want to go into the mods folder and just take the Aether mod. Where is it? It's right there. Just go into the mods and drop it in there. It's that simple. Now exit this and open Minecraft. Okay, so it should still say Forge right here. Just click play. So now there's six mods loaded. Go to mods and there's Forge and right here, Aether Legacy. We're good. I'm just gonna click done and you can go into worlds now. And I'm actually going to one of my worlds and show you that it did work. Okay, so to get to the Aether, you have to build a portal. So it's just like another portal, same dimensions. So use glowstone and a water bucket. So I'm just build it up real quick. Okay, there we go. Okay, place the water in there. And there we go, there's the portal to the Aether. Let's go inside. All right, so terrible spawn. That actually is a, that is, that would suck. If I was playing survival, that would actually suck if I uh, had this, cause you, I think you have to either build out or um, I think you're kind of screwed. Anyways, so this is the Aether and it's just like the Nether, but it's like kind of like, people consider it like a heaven, I guess, place. So you see there's different mobs in here. I believe there's dungeons in this version. Not entirely sure, but yeah, there's different things going on. Different ores to mine and different things to do. It's pretty cool and it's definitely one of my favorite mods. And I think that's going to do it for this video. This is the Aether mod and that's how you install it. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video or it helped you out, leave a like down below and subscribe to join the Bomb Squad today.